we are trying to calculate the volume of the shown triangular prism. To find the volume of any triangular prism, first we must find the area of the triangular prism's base and multiply that answer by the height of the prism. The base of our triangular prism is highlighted in yellow. So what we have to do is figure out what the area of the shown triangle is. And after we figure out what the area of the triangle is highlighted in yellow, we must multiply that answer by the height of our prism. The height of the prism is determined by the distance between the two triangular surfaces. You should notice the height of our prism as it is highlighted by the red line shown on the figure. So let's figure out what the area of the triangular base is. To find the area of any triangle, we must multiply the base times the height of that triangle and divide that answer by 2. We will use the dimensions 4 centimeters and 6 centimeters for the height and base of our triangle. So by multiplying 4 by 6 and dividing that product by 2, that will tell us what the area of our triangular base is. And after we figure out what that is, we are going to multiply that by the height of our prism which is 7 centimeters. Now another way of saying base times height of a triangle could be the length times the width. And we can call the height of the prism still the height. Now if you take a look, we basically have length times width times height. And when you multiply length times width times height, that would be the formula to find the volume of a rectangular prism. So what we have here is 4 times 6 times 7 for our numerator, which would be the same thing as finding the volume of a rectangular prism. But because we chop that in half or divide it by 2, that would actually tell us how many cubic units it would take to fill up a triangular prism. The volume of a triangular prism is always half that of a rectangular prism. So one way some people remember the formula is to pretend that we start off with a rectangular prism and multiply the length times the width times the height and then divide that answer by 2, which is the same thing as finding the area of our triangular base and multiplying it by the height of our prism. Now we could multiply all of the numbers that we have for our numerator and divide that answer by 2, or we can cancel the 2 out with the 4. That will reduce the 2 to a 1 and the 4 to a 2. Because our denominator is a 1, we can multiply all of the numbers that we have remaining for our numerator to figure out what our final answer is. 2 times 6 is 12, and 12 times 7 is 84. So now we know that the volume of our triangular prism is equal to 84 cubic centimeters. It is helpful to remember that the volume of a triangular prism is exactly half that of any rectangular prism. By dragging our triangular prism inside our rectangular prism, we can see that it is indeed half the volume of the rectangular prism. So if you ever forget how to find the volume of a triangular prism, Start out by pretending that you have a rectangular prism, which is an easy formula to remember, length times width times height, and then taking that product and dividing it by 2, because now we know that the volume of a triangular prism is exactly half that of a rectangular prism.